I so appreciate your connection and being part of our subscriber base here, uh, Metro Life TV here on YouTube. You have a lot of options for ministry, uh, voices who could speak into your life, churches that you could connect with in addition to your church. Uh, if you already have a home church and you're not part of our local Metro Life Church family. And so I just wanted to take a minute today to say thank you for being part of our channel, uh, for connecting, subscribing, and allowing me to be able to speak into your life. It is my hope and vision to be a strategic supplement with the material, the content that we teach here to your walk of faith to help you grow in grace and in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus and to help you become fully equipped, empowered, and inspired to fulfill the grand design of the purpose and destiny God has for your life. You know, those two words, purpose and destiny, sound so cliche. I know they do. We use them a lot in the church. I use a lot, you know, in my ministry and in my teaching, but it's true. Jeremiah 29, 11, God said, I know the plans I have for you. That's purpose and destiny. You have both. And so I don't know what season in life that you are in today, but I want to encourage you. God's got good things ahead of you. So this video is going to be kind of quick. I've been out on vacation for a couple of weeks. And so before I get into what I really have a heart to share quickly with you today, uh, getting back to thanking you for being part of this channel, I also want to apologize for the challenges that we have had lately with our Sunday live stream. Listen, I know you've got a lot of options to view and to connect with in terms of ministry, as I said a moment ago. And so I really appreciate your hanging with us. We are in a unique season in that we are in a church space sharing situation. And because of that, the building that we live stream from on Sunday mornings where our local congregation is currently gathering, it's not our own building. And so uh, we have some challenges as it relates to uh, our technical team who produces our live stream uh, with equipment and some of the things that, uh, that just aren't working. So we are taking a fresh approach in looking at other options that we have to be able to do live stream well, uh, to do it in the spirit of excellence. I'm all about the spirit of excellence. And as of late, we have just not been able to produce Sunday's live stream in a spirit of excellence. And I wanted to apologize to you for that because that's important to me. That is one of my core values is that what we do we do in excellence. You can have greatness in you, but if you don't do it with excellence, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, even in your own life, you can have tremendous potential, but if you don't do it with the spirit of excellence, uh, it, you're going to fall short of your, your goals. Uh, and so uh, my heart today is to share that with you and say thank you and to apologize because some of our the technical challenges that we have had because of the space we're in, we're working through them and uh, we're going to get to a place where Sunday mornings uh, broadcasts are done in the spirit of excellence. But I just wanted to give you a, an update on that and thank you for hanging with us uh, through this place where we haven't had uh, the video quality hasn't been as good. We've had to use some alternative equipment. Uh, some of the some of the the audio hasn't been as sharp as it needs to be. We are working on those things. So thank you for hanging with us. Uh, I so appreciate your being connected. And again, to allow us to be able to speak the word of the Lord into your life. The prophetic wisdom of God enlarges us. It increases us. And again, to empower, equip, and inspire you to fulfill the grand design that God has for your purpose and destiny. So along those lines, real quick word for today of encouragement. And this is something that I have been feeling uh, even though I had some downtime with my family the last week or so and really haven't been on here prior to uh, the last week for approximately four or five weeks, we've been teaching out of Exodus 14 and the example of Moses leading the children of Israel through the Red Sea. And I, I want to take you back to something there that is very important in that passage. And it is that God purposely intentionally instructed Moses to lead the children of Israel into a position where they appeared vulnerable and defeated. And it was a strategic positioning because God was doing a larger thing. What Israel didn't understand when God was giving Moses the direction is that God was doing that because he wanted to completely consume Moses, or uh, not Moses, he wanted to completely consume 
Pharaoh and his army. In other words, the things that had been chasing Israel, harassing and persecuting them, God had a bigger agenda, and that was to use Israel's apparent or perceived vulnerability to, to, to bring them in, to suck Pharaoh into a trap that he couldn't escape from. So maybe today you feel boxed in in your life. Maybe you feel trapped, stuck. Maybe you feel like, I don't know what God's up to, if he's up to anything, and does he even know where I am, and is he going to intervene? So let me speak to that for a minute, because there are certain seasons, strategic times in our life when God allows us, because of the larger thing he's working to accomplish, he allows us to look vulnerable. And that's because he's got a bigger agenda at play. God's agenda is at play in your life, both right now and long-term. Right now, near-term and long-term. God's got it all covered. You know, I was thinking the other day about how in eternity there is no time. So in eternity, everything is present tense. God's presentness is present tense where you are. And you may be in a place of tension and vulnerability but there is a presentness with you. And here's what I want to tell you today. Prophetically, here's the word of the Lord for you. You are not going back. You are not going backwards. So you may feel boxed in. Things may look like you're vulnerable, exposed, and defeated. And you may be like God said that Pharaoh would perceive them to be wandering without direction in the wilderness because he would think the wilderness had boxed them in. But here's what God put in my spirit to share with you. And that is you are not going backwards. Things may seem uncertain, stressful, fearful, you may be under a lot of stress and pressure right now, but the word of the Lord is, and I, I prophesy this into your life, you are not going back and you're not going backwards. God's going to open a pathway ahead of you. So what your responsibility is, is to get in a place where you are intentionally building your faith. Build your faith. Building our faith is the result of choosing to focus on those things that build faith in us. So if I were going to ask you today what the question, what do you need to be doing to build your faith in the boxed in place? Because you're not really boxed in and you are not going backwards. God put that word so strongly in me to share with our viewers that you are not going back and you're not going backwards. What's and I've said this recently, and I want to remind you in case you haven't uh, caught it here on the channel, what's been chasing you can't catch you. And I'm telling you on a prophetic level, we are not going backwards. We are not going backwards in our nation. You are not going backwards into an old season. You are not going back into traps and tricks and plans of the enemy. The things God has brought you out of and began to move you toward, you are going to set your feet in those favored, destined, purposed places, and you're going to live out the grand design that God has been building in you. And those prophetic covenants, the prophetic insights, the revelation, declaration, and promises that you carry, that's the future God is moving you into. So I just want to get on here today and tell you, you are not going back. You are not going backwards. And so you need to build your faith around that word and focus everything you're doing around building your faith. And then watch this, build your decisions and actions around the faith that you and the Holy Spirit are building in you. How would things change for you if you truly embraced your thinking, your, de your decisions, your actions, your hopes, you shaped your mood, your expectation, your mindset, how you approach the throne of God in prayer, how you approach the scriptures, how you approach your spirit life, if you truly embrace the truth that what's behind you can't catch you and you cannot go backwards. This is what God says to Moses. Tell them to focus forward. They can't go backwards. Don't even worry about what's chasing you. I've got your back. So let me wrap with this. God has indeed got your back. And the prophetic word of the Lord for you today is that you are not going backwards. God's moving you forward. So you need to do what you need to do to position yourself in faith, hope, decisions, expectations, relationships, finances, in your faith life. Build everything around the faith 
that God has been building in you and know that you are not going backwards. God's moving you forward, so get moving to it.